Αντιμέτωποι με τον κίνδυνο μια ολόκληρη γενιά εργαζομένων να πάει χαμένη βρίσκεται η Ελλάδα, σύμφωνα με τον Παόλο Φάλκο, οικονομολόγο του ΟΣΑ με ειδίκευση στην αγορά εργασία. Μιλώντα στο insider.gr, στο πλαίσιο του συνεδρίου του ΣΕΒ Ψηφιακή Στρατηγική τη Ελλάδα, ο δρόμο για την ανάπτυξη, ο κ. Φάλκο αναλύει του κινδύνου που απορρέουν από τα υψηλά ποσοστά ανεργία τη χώρα, αλλά και του παράγοντε που διαμορφώνουν τον σύγχρονο εργασιακό στίβο. Έχουν οι εργαζόμενοι σήμερα τις δεξιότητες που απαιτεί η εποχή και αν όχι, τι πρέπει να γίνει για να τις αποκτήσουν και γιατί αυτό είναι εν τέλει τόσο σημαντικό. Well, at UCD we study this question in great detail and um, we have recently conducted a survey of workers in OECD countries that shows that in fact a large portion of the population in all the countries that we look at lacks even the most basic skills to work in a digital world. These are workers that therefore face particular disadvantages and uh, it's very important that policymakers pay attention to their situation. So what can be done? In this particular respect, we are often talking about workers that are already in the labor market. So it will not be enough to simply focus on the education system, we have to think about ways of allowing adults, workers who are already working or already in the labor market, to change their skills, to upskill, to learn new competences. Therefore, a new role nowadays, a very important one, is the one of uh, lifelong learning in our societies. Systems that allow people to change their skills after they have finished their education, perhaps after they've already spent a few years in the labor market, and they are in need of uh, all of a sudden moving from one job to the next. What does it take to create an efficient lifelong learning system? A good system of uh, continuous education, adult education, a good system of lifelong learning is one that uh, will need good cooperation between the public and the private sector. There is a, a need for governments and education systems to be prepared to provide education to workers who are already in the labor market and are in need of retraining. There is also an important need that firms, the employers, the utilizers of those skills play a role in defining the curricula of the programs that will be offered to these students and also help schools provide some of these skills through on-the-job learning. What risks does Greece face given the high levels of unemployment? Greece clearly faces an issue of high levels of unemployment and the risk that a generation of young people will be permanently scarred from being out of the labor market early on in their lives. In fact, at the OECD, we think that the first 10 years of a person's life are the most important to define how well they will do in the labor market later on. How can we empower the young people in Greece? We should not forget that youth is a great resource for a country. And uh, many of the unemployed in Greece are young graduates who have degrees and the basic skills that would allow them to enter into the labor market. What they need is a first step to go into the labor market and tailor what they've learned in school to what the firms need. And this is where the role of programs such as apprenticeships that allow firms to provide workers with on-the-job training, work-based based learning, can be particularly important and where more generally a culture of continuous education, lifelong learning for people who have got out of schools with a certain set of skills that they might need to update further becomes very important.